so hi viewers welcome to tutorials for you and this is my first tutorial on flight simulator x in this tutorial we will learn how to start a free flight how to use flight planner to make a free flight as a first step i mean this is your home panel of your flight simulator x software on the left side you can see a lot of options in which you can see free flight so click free flight and your free flight tab is open here you can see that now and on the bottom over here you can see a button called flight planner so this is your first step click on flight planner you will click on flight planner and you can see five different labels over here so this is your departure location and you have to select your departure location so click the select button and you can see a lot of airports over here over. there are a lot of airports over here so it's difficult to select one so we will better go for filtering our search after 223 countries I have to select a country I'm selecting United States over here so United States yeah got United States over here and United States so I'm scrolling down to see different airports in United States and I'm selecting uh, yeah I'm selecting Addington Field as my as my departure location and here I have to select from where I'm starting my runway I mean my flight either I can start it from the runway or I can start from some other points so if you're selecting some international airports for example if I'm selecting Los Angeles Airport let, let me select Los Angeles Airport and here's Los Angeles International I'm selecting it and here changing my initial point I can start from one way or I can start from some other points so I'm scrolling down and yeah I'm selecting gate B48 so my flight will start from gate B48 and then I will have to taxi to the runway and then start my flight so this is my departure location I have set my departure location and I'm starting I'm clicking OK now click destination here we have set the destination airport i'm selecting an airport in uruguay okay so in uruguay i'm going for artigas international I'll select it. click ok so my departure as well as destination is set now it's we can select our flight plan type either VFR or IFR it's easy to handle IFR so I'm going for instrument flight rules or IFR and here I'm choosing my routing so for routing I will click it's better to go for low altitude or high altitude I'm clicking high altitude airways and here I'm gonna click this button find route so our route has been calculated and here is your route the red line shows your route on the map so this is the route from Los Angeles International to uh, all the via all these intersections and our station destination is over here so it's this is your flight plan and if you want you can zoom in your flight plan and watch your flight plan or if you want you can zoom out as well so it's all done click your ok button over here 
and you have to save this flight plan so I'm s the default name is given as IFR Los Angeles International to Artigas International if you want you can change this name or you can change it, save with this same name clicking save button over here yes I want to move my aircraft to departure airport so I'm clicking yes and my flight has been moved so you can see my last current location has changed to Los Angeles International now you have to change our aircraft if you want to change your aircraft click change button over here and see so we can see a lot of aircrafts over here if your show all variations is not selected you can only see a few number of flights and if you want to see all the variations all different colors of all these flights you can just tick this box and you can see all the variations and I'm selecting Boeing 737-800 Orbit Airlines as my aircraft and I'm still clicking OK button and now my aircraft is set and I can change the weather it's fair weather I can for little more challenging flights I can change it to major thunderstorm or stormy weather or building storms okay so I'm selecting stormy weather let it be a little more much more challenging and I'm clicking OK button here you can change the time I'm changing it to day and winter season so it will look more beautiful click the OK button so your time is set all those four labels are set and if you want you can change your fuel as well as payload you can change the amount of fuel in your flight you can decrease it or increase it and you can change your payload the weight each stations you can change it after changing click OK button again OK button so it's done if you want you can you can include failures like if you want your flight to be more risky or more challenging you can include failures of different components instruments in your flight like just putting ticks and you can give your starting time and ending time of all the failures or else you can click here random component failures so the system will select each failure and you will have to face all those failures randomly and you can also include system failures radio failures engine failures and all those stuffs it's all up to you if you wish to include failures you can do that for beginners it's I recommend not to include failures because it's your starting so you need to first make a good flight you need to get familiar with flights and then you can include failures after all the things it's it's all done we are ready for the flight and once all is completed you can just click this fly now button and have a happy flight